In this video we're going to see if ordinary black pepper can stop a coolant leak on a radiator. This machine has shut down on a low coolant level and you can see the radiator down the bottom there behind the hoses is leaking out uh, where the core is attached to the tank. So we're going to try and see if we can seal this up with black pepper. We don't have any stop leak on hand and I've been dying to try out black pepper because I've heard from a lot of people that it does work so I want to find out. This cooling system is a looping style, it has a header tank so we need to drop that water out. If we just pour the pepper in there it'll never get into the system so we need to make a bit of room for it and allow it to flow through. So we're going to take this hose off making sure that we've depressurized our system of course by taking off the radiator cap. This engine's been shut down for about half an hour so the coolant's cooled down a bit and we need to drop at least 15-20 litres out to make room for our pepper to flow through once we start to fill it up. Once we've let enough out we will put our hose back on and tighten it up. If our radiator had a fill point on it we'd just take the cap off and tip the pepper in there. This is the pepper we're using today, it's about 50 grams worth of pepper, we're going to tip the whole thing in there. You can see that the peppers ground up quite fine. Uh, I'm not worried about blocking anything in the engine. Um, when you tip stop leak in there, it's a lot coarser and looks a lot worse than that. So I've never heard of this damaging an engine, so fingers crossed, we should be right. If you guys know of a particular brand of pepper that works well doing this, let us know in the comment section. So now the pepper's in the header tank, we're just going to fill it up with water. This is clean town water, it's not bull water or anything harsh. And that will flow through down into that hose into the cooling system and fill it up. We should get all our pepper in the cooling system and not in the header tank. It's going to be about a week before we get another radiator for this engine, so water's fine in there for now. You can run short term just on water, you're not going to do any damage to the engine. Fill it up to the top and we can go ahead and start the engine. I was told to use the pepper just like stop leak. The engine's already hot from running and we've filled it up so now the engine's running at a low idle and we're about to fire it up to high idle which is running speed and run it for half an hour and see if it plugs up the radiator. This engine runs about 1600 RPM at about 70% load, so that's more than enough to heat it up and get that pepper working. So we're going to run this machine for about an hour and then come back and see if it's plugged up the radiator. The engine is equipped with a low coolant alarm, so if the water does keep leaking out, the engine will shut down before it overheats. When we checked the radiator, it had stopped leaking, which was pretty cool. I was pretty surprised pepper actually worked and it's a cool little trick you can use if you're in a bind and you haven't got any stop leak. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel and check out the playlist.